Hello everyone, Benjamin Studios here with another showcase of my homebrewed Wii U. I didn't do one like a long time ago when I was supposed to. I was supposed to do it back in the beginning of, the, of November. But like I said before, I was stuck in the hospital. So um, here I am with the, with the actual showcase. I have to do this before I can show you my Christmas themed Wii U. Which is still the same one right here. But I'm going to change the theme to a Christmas theme. Same with the music. But I'll show, you, I'll show you that one in December, of course. But I gotta show you this this one before I do that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and turn on the Wii U gamepad. Let me because this is loud enough on the TV. Now that um, I'm using Pretendo Network, which means I'm using um, the network that you can use to, to, to replay um, online services and also use Miiverse. Cool, right? Well, I don't think you guys can see it right now, but I have the theme. It's a, um, a cool, it's a, a um, chilling Mario theme. Even though it doesn't look like that chilling, it still has pretty cool looking theme on it. I'm going to go ahead and go on my user because that's where most of the stuff is. See, see, um, Pretendo has, uh, makes these games show up on the, on the screen. But the Nintendo Network, I, Nintendo Network didn't do that anymore, sadly. Oh shoot. Whoops, okay. As you can see on the screen, the folder, not, not folder, the music it is, the, is the GameCube music from the GameCube menu screen. I thought that was a pretty cool idea to use for this awesome theme. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is YouTube. There's a plugin that I have for YouTube that can um, have any. I mean, there's a plugin that there's a plugin on the Wii U that gives you back YouTube for the Wii U. Let's go ahead and show you it. I'm going to show you how it works. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Now, we're going to work on this with the gamepad. Because that's how it works. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna test a Home Alone video, just because it's it's, it's almost Christmas. It's loading. Okay, we got an ad going on. So I thought it was really cool that it has YouTube back on here. See, that was, like, that was like all I wanted to show you. It's just show you how it works. It's just a it's just a, it's just a plugin that gives you back YouTube. But you have to have the like the latest version of YouTube on here. It won't work with any other version.
So, let's go into the next thing. We have some virtual console games right here. Now, these three I got from the Nintendo eShop. They're just the, the three Super Mario Advance titles. I don't know why I still have them on here. Probably because of the, of the um, you know, um, the progress being on them. I couldn't delete them because of that. That's literally it. We have a ROM hack on a virtual console called The Legend of Banjo Kazooie Jiggies of Time. <coughs> it's kind of cool, right? Then we have Klonoa. I injected these ones. Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. Curry's Dream Collection Special Edition. Project M. And Mario Sports Mix. I'm not sure how, how one of them works because um, that would take a long time. And I already have like a, a lot of stuff to show you. I also have a plugin that can take screenshots. I have a plugin that um, that can transfer any amiibo into any of your games that you need for amiibos, like in Mario Party 10. And then homebrew stuff. We'll go ahead and show you this. Um, Blue Bear. This is the DS D5 DS3 pairing menu for Blue Bear. We need to keep this on here just in case we need something like that. Um, Coop Air is where you is, you can connect Xbox One, um, PS3, PS4, and even a Joy-Con to the Wii U and use it as a controller. That's pretty cool. We have the Homebrew App Store. The Wii, the Wii Combat Installer, which just installs the Homebrew channel to the Wii, to the Virtual Wii. Payload Loader Installer. Roma Updater, which updates the whole custom firmware. Save Me Web Port, which gives you 100% save file uh, adaptations onto your Wii U, for, Wii, U, Wii U for games. Wii U Account Swap is how I got, how I changed my, um, how I disabled my, my Nintendo Network ID and changed it, and changed it to Pretendo. Web Installer GX2 gives me the apps. Um, I have Nusplay. I don't think I can. I should use Nusplay anymore, because I heard it's illegal to use Nusplay. I'm not sure if I, I should even show you it. We have USB Loader GX. These are all. The next couple ones are Wii U or Virtual Wii forwarders. We have the USB Loader GX, like I just showed you. Not 64. Visual Boy Advance GX. Wii Station. Revolution, the Homebrew Channel for the Wii, for the Virtual Wii, Me Channel, Preloader, Virtual Rewind, and CGTV Revolution. We have Wii U Shell, which which you could explore your SD card and delete some stuff you don't really need. Just change it around a little bit. And a fireplace, um, and a fireplace. Simulator, just in case you want to do that. Reboot to Tiramisu, which I do have this, the other environment to use. The System Font Replacer, which you can change the fonts. I'm using the Minecraft one right now. Just to reboot your my Wii U. Wii U Disk Dumper. This um, changes your Wii U disk into a, which way actual game on your Wii U menu, that way you don't have to use the disc anymore if you want, if you don't want to. Fluffy Bird. And then you have to find, get rid of the updates folder on your Wii U. Wii U games. Now I have, um, Minecraft Story Mode. Mario Party 10. Wii Party U. Pac-Man, The Ghost of Adventures, Star Fox Zero, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Transformers Prime, Just Dance 2018 and 19, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, and Minecraft Wii U Edition. Now, there is one game I told you that I told you from the Zenith list 
that shouldn't be from Nestle or from an app that I put on from the from using Weapon Star GX2. It's Mario Party 10, and that's because I used I got that from the eShop before it closed down. Now, um, before we go into the virtual Wii menu, we got I gotta show you another plugin that I have called SD Caffeine, and I'm actually gonna show you how that works because I have three games that works with it, and I think you already know what they are. They're New Super Mario Bros. U, Mario Kart 8, and Super, and Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. We're gonna go ahead and show you one mod at least from for at least three of them, for all three of them. At least one mod for, for each of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in New Super Mario Bros. U first. And we'll go ahead and do that. Now, I'm gonna try and find the newest, the, the most recent mod I added onto this. You know what? I'm going to show you Super Mario Sunshine Seaside. Ow. I don't know. I don't want to get my guns hurt for some reason. Do you see the, um, the little thing that's on the Wii Mario and Luigi? Those are the Sunshine Coats. I think it's supposed to be like a Mario the Sunshine expansion. And even some things were changed in this. And yes, I did, I did start off on some new courses. Like, I did, I did start playing these mods. Just so I could just test them out. So, that's it for New Super Mario Bros. U. Let's go ahead and check Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Here we go. You got Smash Bros for the Wii U already in there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of the mods. Now, New Super Mario Bros. U is the one that I have the most mods for. This one only has three mods because of how big it is. We have Smash Bros. Deluxe. We have Smash Bros. Friend Zone. And an Ultimate Smash 4 mod pack. We're gonna show you the one that's, that hasn't been showed yet. It is Super Smash Bros. Friend Zone. It's gonna be so weird. Weird. I think you already know what Friend Zone is gonna be is. It is nothing but meme related. <coughs> no, sorry. And you're about to you're about to see that with this intro. But you know, Smash Bros has like a very, especially for Wii U, has a very long intro, so has a very long loading screen before the intro shows up. So, I'm, I'm okay with it. There we go. No. We don't want that. Or else it's gonna, you know. But I always have to press no on that. See, this thing is, is so different. Look at this. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Is that supposed to be starting up on there? Now we're gonna go ahead and go on to Smash and show you the the differences of this one. Now, the, the one thing that is different about this one that is, is, of course, the announcer is changed to a female. A female announcer. And I'm, I'm okay with that because we, we never had a female announcer in, in Smash Bros. Kind of, kind of like we almost got a female president, but I don't want to say that. I don't want to bring up any politics on this, on this channel at all. So. Like for instance, um, Sonic got replaced with Knuckles for some reason. Sonic. Even though it still says Sonic. And then R Ryu got replaced with Kermit. Yeah. Also, we have Shaggy in there, and then also Tully Tubby. That kind of funny stuff. Yeah. Cloud. Cloud has um, the, like that version. It's really funny. Well, I'm not sure Kim We have a penguin. Big Chungus. A bomb of snow. A, a club penguin. That's pretty cool. You know, it's really it's really like, weird to have this stuff. It's like Rob. A creeper. We have Thomas the Tank Engine. I don't know who that is. That is very, very weird to have this kind of stuff in this game. But I'm okay with it. So, we're gonna go ahead and go back and show you one more mod. It's on Mario Party. Not Mario Party. It's on Mario Kart 8. Here we go. GameCube theme on my 3DS, which is basically the same thing, but it has GameCube like background in it and stuff. Let's go ahead and check Mario Kart 8. I only have one mod on here, which, which will automatically load into this one because it's only one mod. Mario Kart Generations. This is the only one I have on here because it has a, a full list of tracks. Luigi Kart 8! A full list of characters. And a full Nintendo available online service. I think this is probably the best like, Mario Kart 8 mod in terms of, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Probably thought Minecraft 7 is the best mod is CTTP7. Single player. Let's go to time trials. And you can add, you add your own characters into this mod if you want to. And for instance, I had Juki Puffed to, uh, over Baby Rosalina. Kind of weird because I don't see the arms anywhere. That's okay. And as you can see, the, ju the jumbo jugger from um, Mario Kart Tour is in, from, is in this game, I think. I think that's from Mario Kart Tour, who knows. And then we'll check the wheels. 
We have Vacuum Wheels from Minecraft um, GPDX, which is a Grand Prix arcade game from the arcade machines. So with the Mini Franks. There's an eggshell glider from Minecraft 2 as well. And then we have a bunch of, a bunch of tracks that are from other games. I have, I have a hundred, I have a hundred percent save file on here, that way we can have all the cups. It's pretty cool. Bowser's Wasteland, I haven't seen that one before. That's not really a, a different, um, that's a different, that's a, that's a really different one, I think. Tall Trunks Big Slide, and I have not seen that move before. I definitely want to try it out soon because I because I don't know how it would look like from Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah, I definitely think this is, this is the best track of Mario Kart 8 um, mod there is. Do you have a new battle? No, they don't have any new battle tracks, sadly. They're still working now in progress, as you can see. That's still a work in progress. <laughs> now let's go ahead and show you the virtual Wii menu. Now I change it to the to the to the other screen. I'm gonna go ahead and move the gamepad to its to its charger charging point. Charging station, I mean. That way you can charge while I'm doing this. You don't need this anymore. It's just a stand for the Wii U gamepad just in case I need it. Now we're gonna show you, we'll go to the virtual Wii menu. Here we are. Here's the virtual Wii menu. Looks a little different than last time because there's no Nintendo thing on here anymore. And the reason for that, well, I put them on the original Wii instead, like I showed you in the last video. Let's go ahead and show you what's on here. We have Mario Kart Wii CGTV Revolution. The most popular Mario Kart Wii mod there is. Then we also have Retro Rewind, the second one, the most popular one. We have USB Loader GX, we'll so go ahead and show you what's in there. Now, because there's no, there's no Nintendo games right now, we, can, we don't have any GameCube games right now anymore. So it's a, just like a two-slot thing now. We have Ballistic Beans. Couple is Big Game Hunter. Clip in Game Day. Planes. Cars being a national championship. Ratatouille. Toy Story Man Mania. Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. Kung Fu Panda, Turbo Super Sun Squad, Just Dance Summer Party, all three versions of Mario Kart Wii Deluxe. Um, this is actually newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. Attack of the Toy Bots, Nicktoons, North American Hunting Extravaganza, Pikmin 2, Rango, Sega Superstars Tennis, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up, Penguins of Madagascar, Dr. Blowhole returns again. Ultimate I Spy. Uh, 
I gotta press B. That's all I gotta do. Um, now we're gonna go back to the Wii U menu and show you some other stuff on this thing. Um, we'll go ahead and show you these three things right here. Safe Game Manager DX is a 100% safe file manager on here. Uno. We have Uno, which is a WinFi patched version. And then we have Wireware DIY Showcase. We have the beautiful Homebrew channel on here. We're going to show you Not64 next. And we're getting loaded of ROM here. Show you the games. We have Mario Kart 64 Amped Up, Mickey Speedway USA, Pony Kart 64, Smash Remix and Knuckles, Smash Remix of Original, and Super Sonic 64. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the, um, the Wii Station games, which are our PlayStation 1 games in this case, which is pretty, like, Really obvious, they're PlayStation 1 games, like I just said. It's pretty cool with you forwarder. Load ISO. We have three games on here Bugs Bunny and Taz, Time Busters, Kid Station Thomas and Friends, The Emperor's New Groove. I can't show you how one of these work because that would be that would be um really hard to get back to get back to get back to the to the loader on this thing. So let's go ahead and quit. Let's go back to the loader. And yes, there are two, there you have two player mode on those games. We have um Visual Boy Advance. Which is Game Boy Advance games on here. I only have two games on here, and that's Donald Duck Going Quackers and Super Mario Land 2 DX. We'll go ahead and show you how these one, how one of these work. This is literally just Mario Land 2, but in full color. All right, that's all I have for that one. Now, finally, we're gonna show you Revolution. I have a bunch of games on here that are Revolution based. Let's go ahead and show you them. Now, I put in Mario Kart Wii first. There's only one mod I have for Mario Kart Wii for Revolution based, and it's Mario Kart Midnight 2. I will go ahead and show you that one, but unlike Revolution on the Wii, this one takes a lot longer loading screen for some reason. So without further ado, I'm going to wait for this. We have Mario Kart Midnight 2 on here. We're going to go ahead and launch it. Cool, right? It's not like the original Mario Kart Midnight screen, but it's just a little different because it's just something game in the series. So after I do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you Wii Music mods next. So on Wii Music I have Wii Music Rearranged, Remajor, and a very merry Wii, Wii Music Christmas. Without further ado, Let's go ahead and show you the Wii Music Christmas one because it's really close to Christmas. I'm very into the Christmas spirit right now, as you can see. I 
I go to um, a quick jam. Just like old times. I was, I was like saying that whenever I play this game, it's really cool. Oh wait, sorry. I didn't mean to go to this one. I gotta to go to the other, the other one. Sorry. Custom jam. Let's go ahead and show you some songs on here. There's nothing but Christmas songs on here. Nutcracker. White Christmas. Da, 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 da. I'll definitely play this during de December. I think. So we're going to show you some New Super Mario Bros. Wii mods next. So, we're going to show you the games I have on New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I have my canon Super Mario Bros. Wii. Newer Super Luigi Wii, which is also known as Ultimate. And Mario's Final Adventure. We have this one kind of my the canon one. Because that's my favorite one out of all these ones. There we go. <laughs> Cannon Super Mario Bros. Wii. So we have this one. We have a lot of different ones right here. They're all World 1 because none of them have been started off. We have Free Mode and Coin Battle right here too. So all it is is just like a lot. Just like different levels. Just like in, the, just like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii U. Now, let's go ahead and show you one more. We have Super Mario Galaxy 2 levels. Not levels, mods. So we have Mario Galaxy 2 oh, mods right here. We have Mario Galaxy The Lost Levels. Mario Gravity, two different versions. Mario Galaxy 64 Holiday Special. And Mario Galaxy 63. And Neo Mario Galaxy as well. But I'm going to go ahead and disable that one so I can show you Mario Galaxy Holiday Special. Disabled. Enabled. Launch. Let's go ahead and show you this. I have a nunchuck connect connected to the Wii remote so I, can so I can show you how it works. Shoot. Hold on. It is connected. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. It's glitching, I think. I don't know. There we go. I'll just show you the the the, 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 the the tile screen. I was trying to say that. So all you can see here is just a tile screen. I just wanted to show you that. So let's go ahead and go to Wii, to Wii, to Wii menu. I'm struggling right now. I don't know why. So, there we go. That's my Humbird Wii U and Humbird Virtual Wii. So I hope you guys had a great time with this showcase. Thank you for thank you to Funky Scott Forty Seven for helping me with this. And without further ado, this is Benjamin Studios signing off. Bye.